O Lord, for you I fasted, and now I break this fast with food which you provided for me. It is the invocation that Muslims recite before breaking the abstinence every night of Ramadan during the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, which recalls the revelation of the Quran. In Ilut, a village just a few miles from Nazareth, these words had an exceptional background and took on a special meaning. This is the 14th edition of our iftar that gathers Christians, Jews, Muslims, and Druze around a single table. We live as brothers at least during this month, so they get used to being brothers forever. During Ramadan every night after sunset, iftar, literally breakfast, marks the end of fasting for Muslim believers. One evening a year since 2004, sheikhs, rabbis, settlers, Bedouins, imams, Druze, and Christians travel from different cities of the West Bank and Israel to eat this meal together, supported by the Abrahamic Reunion NGO. Basically have a family of religious leaders and grassroots Israeli and Palestinian peacemakers. And we've come together to create a feeling of family in the Holy Land, because most of the world sees a conflict. They see Jews and Muslims battling for Jerusalem. We want to show the opposite. A handshake, a hug, a moment of reflection on the value of fasting in the three main monotheistic religions and a shared meal. Our gatherings, especially today's in this blessed festival, are pleasing to God, for Ramadan is the month of joy, the month of prayer, of gatherings, of visits, and of charity. This experience of sharing increases and strengthens love and good relationships between us. We must work together so that our destiny and our future are one. It's written in the Bible, the Torah, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Does that just mean your Jewish neighbor? Me as a Jew, I should love only my Jewish neighbors? I don't think so. The Abrahamic Reunion organizes several activities throughout the year. Although it has offices in the United States and Europe, it focuses on Jerusalem, Galilee, Negev Desert, and the Palestinian territories. We're not here to propose a solution, but this is the solution. That the children of Abraham come together and to demonstrate that we can live together in harmony, in hope, in trust, in friendship. We're living it. <laughs>